Okay, then just a quick look at the uh, target frame. Now it's complete. If you look around the edges now, it's all got metal tubing on it to protect the wood. Got some target holder to the left, so I can use it for zeroing. And we've got uh, 10 separate spinners. The new ones are the two orange ones. I think they're from Jack Pike. And I've got the three yellow ones I've got on the center tic tac toe at the bottom spoon target that anybody can make. And then there's the uh, two upright spinners that Mark Amos sent me. So this is a target I'll be shooting at. I'm shooting at 15 yards. And I'll be using the Excite Eco 2 pellets. So uh, if anybody of you watched Tilly's Gunstocks, the last video I made, it was using these pellets and they seem to be quite accurate at close range. 15, range, uh, 15 yards is my range for ratting. I have done some uh, test firing and they are really accurate at that range, pellet on pellet normally. So uh, for what they cost, you can get them from around £4 a tin. So uh, to work on rats, it's a cheap alternative, especially for close-up ratting. Obviously, the further out you get, the flat nose on them will uh, slow them down. But for in close, they're ideal. Okay then, this is a setup I've got that I'll be shooting at the target with. It's the BSAR 10 with the Arkansas 3x12 scope. The pellets themselves are rod cutters. They weigh 7.4 grains. I couldn't find any BC for it, so I actually uh, had to go through the process of finding it out. So. To do that you do a muzzle velocity test and over 10 shots it averaged 827 feet per second and then plus my zero range would be 15 yards for ratting. I then, then tested the pellets with the chronograph at 17 yards and it came back as uh, 657. So between the muzzle and 17 yards it's basically lost uh, almost 200 feet per second probably about 170 feet per second going from 11.1 11.2 down to about 7.2 foot pounds so 17 to 20 yards you still got the enough energy there to kill rats and things but i won't go much further than that because it'll probably open up due to the uh, drag factor on it okay then so starting off i'll uh 15 yards what I'll do now is zoom in a bit let me get my glasses so I've got a better view now these just help me see better through the scope because it's a digital screen and it's close up if you were reading glasses you might as well put them on while looking through the scope looking through an optical lens it doesn't matter because you're looking up, obviously through an optic rather than a, a screen say so. okay so, you see how accurate it is? There's a nine mile an hour wind blowing from left to right. Pushing it to the left, to the right. Okay. 
Okay, probably want to come up just a bit. So. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to adjust, slot, bit, put a bit of elevation in it. Okay, so, saved it. So, what I'm going to do now, aim at point on the card which will be there I'll use that as a point of aim there So you can see it fifteen yards is pretty accurate. I want to get cleverly through. I did pull a shot there, but the rest of them. I believe that's it. So as you can see, they shoot really well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shoot the target frame. And this is my Swiss Army knife of portable reactive targets. So you've got your initial aiming card you can pull up there which is uh, set up for a 17 centimeter target it's got a, a lip at the top in wood that will hold the top of the card and then two rule plugs that i put a screw through and they come over like levers to hold it in place at the bottom so that's all i've done for that got a bit of white cardboard behind it just to stop any movement and then obviously got the frame itself and you can move that from any range and that's all you, you'd ever need really simple enough to make I mean the actual metal work on it is from an old old bed that I've cut up and screwed into the wooden frame so uh, it should last a lot longer now and I suppose if I have to I could always do it totally in, in the metal framework and it's it's uh, all screwed into the wood at the moment but it could easily bolt the framework together so it's entirely up to uh, the individual how you do it it's just the way i've done it go for the uh let's come out a bit so you can get a view of the frame it's four and a half times three times I'll change the reticle colour to white shows up okay doesn't it just raise the target again 15 jackpot targets 
times two. That's a spoon target. Jack pipe through the bushes. then so behind that we have uh, 19 yards just change the reticle again that's it I want the green background zoom in so if you look at that look you know some old under there that's better I'm going to move over slightly. Okay. Just zoom out a bit. Range target. Bloody hell, is it? Okay, 21 yards. It helps if you cock the rifle. Maybe you've got some in it. Old, old bollock chop there. Yep. Right on the button up. So even at 21 it's still accurate. Yep. I think that's it. Yeah. So there we go. That is the uh, Excite Econ Two pellets and it's Sheffield NM products they're under four pound a tin you go on the website you get 500 in it so if you're into close range ratting and you've got your Arkansas or any, any scope for that matter any sort of rifle well worth a try it's, it's working okay with BSAR 10 they make their own cold hammer forged barrels. I know uh, that Tilly's air guns, he was using CZ barrels, I think, through the rifles he got. It seemed to open up uh, past 20 odd yards. But uh, I mean, you might, you might find it you're lucky and you get uh, good results out to 25, I don't know. 
but uh, you won't want to go much more than that because the power drops off pretty quick with a, a wad cutter because it's flat nosed uh, and there's only so fast you can go before you go in supersonic and you'll lose accuracy then especially on these sort of things I mean think of the old Concorde it had a pointy nose and when they tried to break the uh, the sound barrier with the old World War II planes going into a dive a lot of them lost control because they, they just weren't swept wings and that meant for it and wad cutters are the same they were designed for 10 meter competition targets but uh, they will do the job on on uh, vermin at close range they were well worth a, a go uh, okay then so that is it today uh, the next time you'll probably see the rifle I'll be down the range at long range probably at two over 102 yards because I've I've adjusted the uh, distance on the scope now up to 120 so we'll try the Bisley Magnums at 102 yards on the little targets we've got on that so uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video